Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. How would you like an inexpensive lure that does a great job of imitating a minnow and hooks trophy sized fish on a regular basis? Are you in the market for something like that? Well, if you're a trout or king salmon troller or even a kokanee troller, you need some of these. This is the coconut from Max Lure. It was invented by Gary Morales back in the early 2000s. The first time I ever saw one of these, I was trolling in the Dry Creek Arm at Shasta and Gary drove over to my boat. He gave me some in packages. So try these out, man, they're hot. I looked at it and I thought, man, that, that doesn't look like much. That looks kind of fake. It just looks like something that's slapped together. It's got a piece of fake plastic corn there, a weird plastic skirt and a couple double hooks. But uh, I'm always game to try something new. So I put it behind a dodger, I put it in the water and I immediately thought to myself, man, when that thing is in the water behind a dodger, it comes to life. That looks just like a shad minnow. So I put some Procure on it, I dropped it down. 15 minutes later, I caught a five plus pound king. Um, at that point, that was the biggest landlocked king I'd ever caught. Um, just a big, beautiful fish. The pink version is my favorite. That's what I caught that big king on. That's probably why it's my favorite. I've caught three kings over five pounds on that lure. I've caught some really big trout too. Um, my second favorite is the chartreuse. And I don't go in for chartreuse lures a lot when I'm trout and salmon fishing. But uh, I can tell you, I make an exception for the coconut. It works really well. So here's the deal. If you're going out for coconut, I was using these on Stampede Reservoir oh, a week or so ago, and we were catching some really nice coconut on them. We were tipping it with shoe-peg corn, one piece of corn on the rear hook. If I'm going for kings and trout, usually I'll put some just some thread fin shad or smelt flavored procure on there and be done with it put it behind a dodger and start fishing um, sometimes if I know I'm going specifically for kings I'll put a little piece of anchovy skin on that back hook but uh, as far as the rigging goes I make an exception to my big dodger rule with this with this bait I usually like six inch dodgers but when I'm running coconuts I like to go with a four inch sling blade um, if I think it's gonna be a a mix of trout and kings I'll go with the chrome models chrome and green always my favorite and the uh, I think that's called the shattered eye or the big eye chrome on chrome these are this is a UV blade this is a standard um, either one of those are great team it up with that I run a fairly short leader that's probably about oh I don't know 12 inches 11 inches something like that if I'm just going for kings I've had terrific luck with the glow pink four inch sling blade and this was actually the rig that I caught that first this may be the actual dodger actually that I caught that first five pound king on the glow pink with the pink coconut anyway you probably haven't tried coconuts because if you look at them in the store they look kind of lame there's no getting around that but it is a terrific lure um, I would encourage you to get a couple get a pink one get a chartreuse one there's also one that has a redder piece of corn I don't have any it has some blue in the skirt that one's dynamite too so I would actually try those three colors get a red one a pink one and a chartreuse one you're not gonna break the bank Troll them behind a genuine sling blade dodger the four inch model and uh, see what happens. I think you're going to like the results, whether you're going for kings, rainbows, or those crazy kokanee. You're going for kokanee, don't forget your corn. Anyway, the coconut, it's a fish killer. Doesn't look like it till you get it wet, but take my word for it. It straight out performs on the water, or in the water. Anyway, this is Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Um, please keep on supporting our channel, man. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have a YouTube channel. So anyway, I'm signing off. I'll catch you next time right here on the School of Fishing. <laughs> anyway, thanks, folks. I'll catch you later. Have a good day.